just how rich is Mindanao. Very, very, very rich. Fertile soil, vast clean seas, coves like this. Mindanao has all the potentials of becoming the major supplier of food in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. In fact, one Israeli agriculture expert once said, give me Mindanao, I will feed half of the world. Maybe it's an exaggeration. But today, we are going to show you the bounty of Mindanao, the richness of these islands, which have been for so long glossed over by stories of violence and conflict. This week, in my Mindanao, we will show you a growing industry, fish cage farming. It's a billion peso industry which produces tasty milkfish, dangit, kitong. These are the three major fish species being produced in these fish cages. This week, as we present to you my Mindanao, the beauty and bounty, I bring you to Malalag Bay, one of the major fish cage farming areas in Mindanao. And we will tell you how profitable it is to raise bangos in fish cages like this. Where could you borrow money for your financing and who will buy your produce? This all in this week's My Mindanao, The Beauty and Bounty. We are now in Malalag Bay. Uh, this bay covers uh, five towns. Hagunoy, Padada, Suluk, Malalag, and Santa Maria. From that coast over there to that corner over there is about three kilometers. So you can just imagine how wide this is. And this is where the concentration of fish cages is. This is a bay which is calm because it looks like a cove actually. There is not much disturbances in as far as the big waves are concerned or typhoons for that matter. So this is an ideal area for fish cage farming. As you can see, we are now nearing the fish cages where uh, they grow uh, fish, bangos, dangit, uh, kitong. Uh, and uh, this is an area uh, where the concentration of fish cages is. And this area alone could produce as much as 32 metric tons of bangus every day. And uh, right here is the uh, municipal administrator of Malalag. No? Uh, he is with us and uh, later he will explain to us how much benefit uh, do the people of Malalag and uh, those uh, uh, in the community surrounding this area are getting from all of these projects. Uh, maybe as uh, fish cage owners themselves or as workers in these fish cages. This is an example of a modern fish cage. This is actually uh, made out of uh, fiberglass and PVC pipes. Building this would cost about uh, 450,000 pesos. And to produce bangos in this uh, fish cage for one cycle, you would need to spend about uh, over a million pesos. Huge investment, but the income is about 400 to 500,000 pesos per cycle and they have two cycles every year. These fish cages could accommodate 80,000 bangus fingerlings and they have added income actually. Uh, most of the fish cages operators here not only raise bangus but they also raise us uh, consumers of the excess feeds, dangit, which are the bottom dwellers, and kitong. So the feeds that are not consumed by the bangos uh, fry are consumed by the bottom dwellers, dangit, 
and Kitong. It's an interesting industry. But there are concerns, of course. There are environmental concerns, ecological concerns, because the massive amount of feeds being thrown into these fish cages would more often than not produce excess feeds that would fall into the bed of the bay. And unless checked, it could damage the corals. So this is an area where the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources is focusing on right now, conducting researches on how to make fish cage farming sustainable, how to make it uh, grow as an industry without necessarily compromising the environmental soundness of the coves and the bays where we will have this. This is a fish cage filled with prospective mother milkfish. They are called sabalo. They are grown to a size uh, where uh, they could lay eggs and reproduce. This is actually what is lacking in the Philippine bangus industry. Enough uh, mother fish, mother milkfish to produce the fry and the fingerlings. So it's a good thing that uh, these uh, fish cages owned by uh, the family of Congressman Esmael Mangudadato has actually ventured into the production of mother milkfish. This will support the industry and uh, this is something that uh, should be supported by government and this is something that other fish cage operators should also start looking into as an additional contribution to the growth of the fish cage industry of Mindanao. All in all, there are more than a thousand of cages being set in Malalag Bay. 20% of it are made of pipes, Norwegian as they call it, and the 80% are made of bamboo. Of these 1,000, more than 1,000 cages, there are more than 100 actually, more than 100 operators who own these cages. And of that more than 100 owners or operators of these cages in Malalag Bay, 30 of them are from Malalag and the rest are coming from different uh, municipalities and cities and provinces. They found out that Malalag Bay is a good place to grow bangos in fish cages because the bay is protected by that Kulagsing Hill there where the waves are being somewhat controlled by that hills there and disturbance is not that bad you know so fish cage operation in Malalag really proliferates. Malalag Bay, as you can see, is a fish cage farming uh, industry. It houses uh, several thousands of cages. This industry generates unemployment of more than 1,000 persons and also generated a family income. Investing in Malalag Bay is a favorable uh, adventure or venture. So I hope uh, you will consider Malalag Bay as an investment area. This is the fish landing in uh, Malalag Port, Davao del Sur, one of the biggest uh, fish cage areas anywhere in Mindanao. Every day, this fish landing would deliver to different parts of Mindanao and even Bacolod about uh, 6 to 18 tons of milkfish freshly harvested. And today they are uh, shipping out 16 tons 
of freshly harvested uh, milkfish or bangus. And uh, this shipment is uh, intended for Bukidnon, General Santo City, and Bacolod. From the bote, the uh, newly harvested bangus is transferred to this table. Uh, and then you classify. This is the sorting table. How many uh, classifications do you have for the bangus? Uh, we have five, sir. Big, 3141, 51, and saka BS. BS is what? Very small. Very small, okay. So the big is how much uh, here? 500 grams to 800 grams up. And how much per kilo? 130 as of now. 130 pesos per kilo. Uh, when it reaches Bacolod, uh, how much do you think are they selling it? 150. I 150, think 150 minimum 150 okay so uh, from here they sort it out and then they place the bagus in the uh, uh, styro boxes they call it styro boxes tama no yes sir styro boxes and then fill it with ice and then load this into these big trucks which would travel for uh, about a day or two days uh, reaching their destination yes sir as far as bacolod yes sir so this is the uh, lifeblood of uh, the economy of uh, Malalag Davao del Sur, one of uh, the areas in Mindanao where uh, fish cage farming has become a way of life and a profitable agri-fishery endeavor. In Malalag, for example, the local government unit charges 15,000 pesos per 10,000 square meters, that's about one hectare of uh, Bay Area, every year. And uh, with that, they will give you a permit, which you could use in uh, applying for a loan with uh, Land Bank or the Development Bank of the Philippines. Now, if you need our help in facilitating your loan application, we could actually package the whole thing for you. Just come to the Mindanao Development Authority office, at the old airport building, Saksa, Davao City. We will gladly help you start this very profitable business undertaking, fish cage farming in the coastal areas, bays and coves of Mindanao. Behind me, you can see the vastness of Malalag Bay. But this is just one of the many coves in Mindanao. We have coves in Kalamansig, Libak, in Sambuanga del Sur, in uh, Parang, Maguindanao, in Lanao del Norte, in Sambuanga, Sibugay, Sambuanga del Norte, Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, and many more. These areas are not hit by the typhoons. So, fish cage farming is most ideal in these areas. So today, I hope that we were able to present to you the prospect of investments in Mindanao. So you want to discover Mindanao? Come. There are so many opportunities that you could get involved with. And that could open up the doors of these beautiful islands for you. Come visit Mindanao and discover the beauty and bounty of Mindanao.